This video will show you how to fill the reservoir and insert the infusion set. It is important that you follow the instructions as they are shown in this training. Try to avoid changing your infusion set before bedtime unless you're able to check your blood glucose one to three hours after inserting. Before you begin, wash your hands and gather the items you will need to change the reservoir and infusion set. In this video, we'll be using the Minimed Sill Serter to insert the infusion set. To begin, press Select to view the menu screen. Use the left button to highlight the Reservoir and Set icon, then press Select. Select New Reservoir and Set. Remove the infusion set you are currently wearing from your body. Pick up your pump and select Next. Then, remove the reservoir from your pump by turning the tubing connector counterclockwise. Safely dispose of the used infusion set and reservoir. On your pump, select Rewind. The rewinding screen will appear while the piston rewinds. Rewind Complete appears when the piston has rewound. You can now set the pump down and prepare to fill the reservoir. To reduce the risk of air bubbles, make sure the insulin vial is at room temperature. Wipe the top of the insulin vial with alcohol and wait until it dries. Remove the new reservoir from the package. Pull the plunger so the top o-ring is positioned at the amount of insulin you plan to put into the reservoir. Be careful not to pull the plunger completely out. Hold the reservoir by the blue transfer guard and connect it to the insulin vial by pressing down. Do not push down on the plunger during this step. Keep the insulin vial upright, place your thumb on the plunger, and firmly push the air from the reservoir into the insulin vial. Holding the plunger with your thumb, flip the insulin vial over so it is on top. Make sure you are holding the vial with your other hand. Slowly release your thumb pressure from the plunger rod, and the reservoir will start filling with insulin. When the reservoir stops filling, pull down on the plunger until the top black O-ring lines up with the desired amount. Tap the reservoir hard enough to make the air bubbles rise to the top. Slowly push up on the plunger rod to move the air bubbles back into the insulin vial. Pull down on the plunger to fill the reservoir to the number of units desired. Repeat as needed, until air bubbles are removed from the reservoir. Look in the window of the blue transfer guard to make sure no air bubbles remain. To avoid getting liquid on the top of the reservoir, flip the vial over so it is upright. With the vial down on the table, hold the transfer guard with one hand. With your other hand, turn the reservoir counterclockwise and then pull straight up to remove it from the transfer guard. Be careful not to press on the O-rings. Disconnect the transfer guard from the vial and dispose of it properly. Remove the infusion set from the package. Remove the protective cover at the end of the set release by gently squeezing the flexible arms on both sides, and then pull it away to expose the connector needle. Make sure both the top of the reservoir and the inside of the tubing connector are dry before connecting them. Liquid can temporarily block the vents on the tubing connector. If any liquid has gotten on the top of the reservoir or inside the connector, start over again with a new reservoir and set. Hold the tubing by the connector and place it on the top of the reservoir. Find the right position by turning and gently pushing the tubing connector until you feel it slide smoothly in place. Turn the tubing connector clockwise until the reservoir and tubing connector lock with a click. The tubing connector should not be loose or come apart from the reservoir. Tap the reservoir to make any air bubbles rise to the top of the reservoir. Purge the air bubbles that have risen to the top by slowly pushing up on the plunger until all of the air bubbles have been pushed out of the reservoir and you see a small amount of insulin in the tubing. If you're not able to push insulin into the tubing, disconnect the tubing connector and then reconnect it. Unscrew the plunger rod counterclockwise until it completely separates from the reservoir. While you are filling your reservoir, the backlight may have turned off. Press the Select button to turn the screen on again. Press Select to go to the menu screen, and then select Reservoir and Set. Since you have already filled the reservoir and connected the tubing, select Next. Put the reservoir in the pump and turn the tubing connector clockwise until you feel the reservoir lock into place. The tubing connector should line up with the groove in the battery cap of your pump. On your pump, Select Next to go to the Load Reservoir screen. With Load highlighted, press and keep holding Select until the screen shows Complete. When you see Complete, 
Do Not Connect to Body, and a yellow check mark on the screen, select Next. Hold the set so that the needle is pointing down. With Fill highlighted on the screen, press and hold Select. The pump screen will display the amount of insulin being moved through the tubing. Continue to hold Select until you see insulin drops coming out at the end of the needle. After you see the drops, release the Select button. Hold up the tubing to the light to check for air in the tubing. If you see air, once again press and hold Select until the air exits the end of the tubing. Now press Right and select Next. Choose an insertion site from the shaded areas. Be sure to avoid the 2-inch area around your belly button, any hardened or scarred tissue, and the previous site you've used. If you give insulin repeatedly in the same area over a long period of time, it can cause the tissue to thicken and insulin won't be absorbed properly. Rotating your site is key to keeping your infusion sites healthy. Clean your infusion site properly with an alcohol wipe or prep wipe. Allow your site to air dry. Pick up the Mini-Med Silserter. To load the infusion set, press down on the lock and release handle, exposing the two teeth. Place the insertion piece into the base until the holes line up with the teeth. Release the handle to lock the insertion piece in place. Use your thumb to slide the serter back into the loaded position. You should hear a click and feel it lock into place. Gently pull off the blue needle guard. To insert the infusion set, place the arms of the serter flat against the prepared infusion site. The needle should be inserted at a 20 to 45 degree angle or as instructed by your trainer. Rock the arms slightly forward to achieve a deeper angle or back to achieve a more shallow angle. Once the sill serter is in position, firmly press the white button at the top of the serter to insert the introducer needle. To release the insertion piece from the serter, place one finger on the cannula housing. With the other hand, press the lock and release handle so the teeth are no longer locked in the insertion piece. Slide the serter back away from the introducer piece. Holding the cannula housing with one hand, remove the front paper backing and smooth the adhesive securely to the skin. Place a finger on the front portion of the cannula housing. With the other hand, squeeze the gray arms and pull back to remove the introducer needle. While keeping the set secure, gently remove the remaining paper backing and smooth to skin. Dispose the introducer needle into a sharps container. Now connect the infusion set tubing to the cannula housing by sliding the connector directly into the cannula housing until you hear an audible click. Now that the introducer needle is removed, the cannula is empty and will need to be filled with insulin. On your pump, select Fill. The Fill cannula screen will appear with either dashes or the amount you previously used. The cannula requires 0.7 units of insulin to fill. To change the fill amount, press Select and use the arrows to scroll to the amount needed and press Select again. If the amount is correct, press Down to fill now. Press Select. The home screen will display the insulin as it fills the cannula. Remember, one to three hours after inserting a new set, you should check your blood glucose. Checking your blood glucose is the only way to confirm your infusion set is properly inserted and that you're receiving insulin. Congratulations! You have successfully filled your reservoir and changed your site.